So if you're following along and you look at the program in our OneNote, the very last thing that we have to do is maximum flow. So last lesson, you did prims and you did cross schools method. And what did that find? Minimum spanning tree, and it's where we don't have any circuit. So all of the nodes are connected, but there's no circuit within. And if you think about it, it's so that you can, I guess, connect everything together. One of the examples was in Venice, if you had to put walkways, planks out to get from one shop to another, you don't want to put extra planks out. You want the minimum possible, so you can just go from one shop to the other without repeating and no loopy circuits, okay? Um, the last thing that we're gonna do here is maximum flow. This is a little bit um, hmm, different. And for me, one of the ways that, and this is our last, this is our last bit by the way, right? Because after this, you will just be doing the reviews, you'll be making sure that you've got your summary of knowing how to do every single method. Um, because we'll be using most of them in your investigation. This is now week two, end of week two. So all of week three, you've got to either revise or work on an investigation. And your test will be in the double lesson the following week. All right, those people who are volleyballing, you've got a hectic weekend and you're not here Thursday, Friday. So that's only Friday's lesson. So please make sure that we um, catch up. So. Maximum flow. If you haven't done any of the previous ones, right, doesn't matter. You can do this without having done the other stuff, all right? So what I'd like you to think about this maximum flow is like we have cars, I guess, going through a system. And we'll go back to our book. Oh, I wonder if I'm breaching copyright laws at the moment. Hello, Hazy, if you're listening. Oh, come on, come on, scroll mode. No, it's not playing nicely with me. Oh. All right, we won't do that because it's not playing. Okay, so if we're having a look at the example, we're wanting to go from the source to the sink and we want to see what the maximum flow can be. Now, think about if you've got cars on a freeway, all right? So you might have a whole lot of cars built up, but they can't all go through because they can't all fit on the roads at the same time. Does that make sense? Alternatively, you can think of a massive amount of water trying to get through various pipes. Now, it doesn't matter how much water you have, if the pipes aren't big enough, the whole water isn't gonna fit through that network. So we're gonna try and see what's the maximum flow we can have. It's not necessarily going to be, because this is a maximum of 21, it doesn't mean all 21 cars or all 21 gigalitres of water is gonna get through the system, yeah? They give you the whole steps which you can read if you really want to, but have a look at the process that they're doing here. All right, so we go off this way, we're gonna go down this path. Now, how come we have stopped here and we've crossed out the 21 and put four? Because from that 21, can you see only, we'll go back up here, only 17 up there can actually get through. So not all 21 cars are able to pass through that road, only 17. So unfortunately, we cross out this 21 and we say there's four of them that are still left in the, on the road. Does that make sense? And can they then, can those four um, come this way at all? Can they then go, okay, you can't fit on that road from B to E, but can they now come down on this road? Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. So that's why we've now crossing out the zero. All the four cars have gone. And we could still fit another seven cars on that road. That's why that seven is there. Is that good so far? Okay. Notice at the side for the first one, we put the 17. So 17 cars got through on the first go. On the second go, Right, the last four also got through. So we're just keeping a record of how many have got through, through the top line. Now, we have to deal with um, the bottom. Uh, what are we doing here? This, I don't even know why they've got this in here because we've used all of our 14 cars, right? What is going on there? Why do they even bother? Yeah, 
So we then jump down to the 18 because the whole four got through and there's nothing left. Why did they even do those ones in between? So now how many of the 18 can get through? Can I go up the nine? No, following the arrows. Only 16 of those 18 can get through because the pipe, the road just ain't big enough. So then we put the 16 at the side here. You add up all of those ones that you've got and therefore 37 is the maximum capacity that can get through. What do you reckon? So I like to think of it as cars. If you want to think of it as water, then go for it. Yes, dear. We just, I, I just like to start at the top. I always start from top down. You could go bottom up, it doesn't matter, but I go top. So we are our sink and source. Oh, identify the sink and source. So we're going from left to right, sink, and we'll make that the source. Agreed? All right, so when we're going this with the seven, will the whole seven get through? The whole seven goes through. So I go, yep. Seven has gotten through, but now two is left there, and there's room for five more cars on that path, just in case we go there. All right, now what about going through here? Can all 11 get through? Yeah. Yep, so I have to add it on up there. What about downstairs? Do all eight go through? No, because it's got this limit of the five. So the five, oh, that's a pretty or shoddy, shoddy penmanship. So I've got the seven, I've got the 11, and then I've got this five will go through, but I've got three left over. So I have to plus the five. And so my maximum flow, seven plus 11 is 18, 23 is my maximum. Shall we do B? Okay. Am I going now? Okay, change of colour I think is in order. Shall we go royal blue or purple? Royal blue. Royal blue. Hail thy queen. Okay, sink and source. What's the starting point basically? Just see where the arrows start from. So would we agree that this is the sink? And this is the source? Is it? Oh yeah, source and sink, sorry. Oh, how sad that's on that's on video. You know what I mean though, right? Where we start and where we go. We're going that away. Yeah, source, of course. <laughs> Good pickup. Okay. So again, you can start anywhere you want. I like to start from the top and go down. So if we're looking at this. You're seeing, can all 11 cars get through on the top? No, because of this nine. So at least nine will get through there. So that's gone and can no longer fit any more on that path. Um, and we've still got two little cars left to try and get through. Can they get through any other way? Ooh. Oh, no, you're right. You're right, because look at me. I haven't got my glasses on because this arrow is going the wrong way. So they cannot go down there. So those two little cars, I think, are going to be stuck. Right, what about our 12? Yeah, I reckon all 12 will go through. So they're gone, three, and I can add 12 to my tally. So. 21. Unfortunately, if this flow was going the other way, we could have got those two through. But sadly, they can't go that way. It's a one-way street. Back flow part. Back. Can't go backwards. Yes? Yeah. So, yep. So with the middle part, right, what if I didn't go down the bottom, I wasn't really looking there. I went, okay, I'm going up here. So all eight go through. So all eight, and then I've got two left. So instead of having nine and 12, I've got nine and eight, right? So now there's four left here. Can't the four now go underneath? So I'll still add that on, I'll still get 21. 
right? Yeah. So my maximum flow is still going to be the same. So you I just went, I just went, I saw the biggest one. They're all going to go through there. Yeah. Time for you to play. You've got the answers in your book that you can check if you're right or not. Again, I strongly recommend if you're not having a fun time with using the OneNote for this, cut and paste this from your screen. So screenshot, pop it in a Word document. It's a lot easier to fool around with. Once you've done this, review questions. And then you're going back to finding the longest path, finding how many paths, all that sort of stuff. And remember, you've got your questions on the tab, questions tab that will be helpful for in your investigation. Are there any questions? So, can I ask you guys to be quiet while we do this? Calculate the maximum flow from P to Q. So obviously, this is our source, yep. and this is our sink. Now, six we want to send through, but we cannot send all six because it gets stopped here at the five and of course it also gets stopped at the three. So three is the maximum that gets through. So that's gone. This has still got room for two cars and three cars are still piled we, we up. We did it like this. We had one there and two there that got stuck. One got held behind when it went past five and then two got held behind when it went past three. Yeah, but we're sort of just saying we're filling up the roads. I think this will be a little, this is easier. So all three got passed. Okay. So now yeah. with this three, can this three get through at all? And it's like, yes, it can go via this one, by the four. There's three left. There's three left at the start. Okay. Now there's, this says there's two spaces that it could go through here, but then it gets stuck. It, can't, it cannot go through B to Q, right? So these three cars, right, the source, still have to try and go through. Now they can go through here, so four, and then they get all the way through. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. So all three can go. So zero, one will be left here and all three go through, so two will be left there. And those remaining three have all gone through. Couldn't four go through though? Cause that four's the no, but there's not four cars, one. it's from our source here. Yeah, but From the source, so it's the, yep, the, it's the six, six and the five. Lane. It's the number of That's lanes. just how wide the so road is, yeah. or how big the pipe is. So yeah. three got through first, this. Three cars got through that so way. Three left, yep. and you redirected them that way. The other three got through. Fit, so, now three so now those whole six have gone, that's why it's zero. Now we've got these seven here, right? So from all the source, so these seven, can all seven get through? Well, not here, only two can get through on that one. Yeah. Okay, so now that's full. That road is full and two have got through, but I've still well, got five cars waiting. That should be right. So you just you changed that number. Because two went through. There were there was room so for two more cars it, it there. It goes in like an order. Because oh, you're yes. at the top first. I go top to bottom. top to bottom. Yep, I go top to bottom. So three. now five. It's a very crucial But they technically went change. through first. Yep. So five five, five cars are left on this road. Can we put them through here? Only four. So we've got one car left there. That's full. That's full. And four cars got through. Uh, and these five, well, sucks to be them. <laughs> they can't go anywhere. Because they're zero. Yep. I'm confused what you did in that very last part when you went down. Alt, that four is not meant to be there, is it? No, I reckon I got... Oh, no, no, it is, it is. Three. Nine, ten. Let me darken you out of Three. Okay, we're just doing that again because we got the wrong answer. <laughs> what were we meant to get? Twelve. It's meant 12. to be, you got 12, right. Oh, so I added it up wrong. Yeah, exactly. So, so, right, three gets through. So, nothing. Two, three. The three goes through. Three goes through. And got left with two. Yes? Yes. Okay. Seven. Seven, uh-huh. Only two gets through. Yeah. So, that's now zero. That's now five. Yeah, I'm going to stuff up again. Wait, how did... Did it not only do it yet, though? Yeah, but it's meant to be an, an 12. Right. Oh, I can't add up Why right. So I was right. I can't add up. Oh, my God. It's a long day. Okay, so zero, zero, 
one, right? So we end up with the four, and as Joel has reminded his maths teacher, four plus two plus three plus three is 12. Huzzah. We just did this and we went from bottom to top, and you can see that you get the same answer. But anyway. It wouldn't be that hard.